Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to do another activity which is about the effects of temperature and pH on the action of enzymes, specifically the salivary amylase. The materials required are the following, test tubes, iodine solution, ice cubes, water, 1% starch solution, 1% sodium chloride solution, saliva solution, droppers, and thermometer. And before we start the experiment, make sure that you have your pen and paper with you so that you can record your observations. And now that you are ready, let's start with our activity. For the first part of our experiment, we will be investigating the effects of different temperatures on the activity of salivary amylase on starch. We will first set our temperature to 5 degrees Celsius, then to 37 degrees Celsius, which is our body temperature, and 70 degrees Celsius. In the setup, we have our saliva solution and our mixture of 1% starch solution and 1% sodium chloride solution maintained at 5 degrees Celsius and a set of test tubes labeled A to G on the right side. First, we are going to add 1 ml of our saliva solution to our mixture of starch and sodium chloride solution. Using a clean dropper, Take a few drops from this mixture and transfer to the series of test tubes having iodine solution. After an interval of 2 minutes, take a few drops again from our mixture and add to the next iodine tube. Note the color changes. We will keep on adding after every 2 minutes till the color of the iodine does not change. For the temperatures 37 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius, we will just be repeating the steps that we did at 5 degrees Celsius. Please take note of the color changes and always remember to record your observations right away because you will be using this to answer your laboratory report sheet. So which do you think is the optimum temperature for salivary amylase? For the pH test, each starch sodium chloride mixture is maintained at pH 5, 6.8, and 8. The steps for this part of the experiment will be the same with the steps that we did on the effects of temperature. You will also take note of the color changes in the series of test tubes for each given pH. And do not forget to record your observations.
Based on our activity, which do you think is the optimum pH for salivary amylase? That's it for today. See you again in our next experiments.